guys, it's Mossy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a highly requested, highly anticipated, it won my um, poll video that is my current beauty favorites. I haven't told you guys my current beauty favorites in probably a year. I think it's been a year since I've talked about like what I've been loving and everything has been switched. Like the past like few months, these are my obsessions. These are what I love. These are what I can't live without. All these products are a 10 out of 10 if I was to rate them. Um, so that is me telling you guys, that is what I'm going to share with you guys today. But before we do, I want to quickly put out a quick apology. Um, I didn't, I kind of just left abruptly for like a week and a half, two weeks almost. I think it's been about a week and a half since I just like abruptly left. And that's just because my daughter went through surgery. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but yeah, she got my three-year-old Marissa. She got surgery. She got her adenoids and tonsils and tube, uh, the bilateral, bilateral tubes. Um... And she has been in recovery for the past week. So that is where I've been. I've put my focus solely on that. She's officially back in school today. So now I'm back to filming. Um, I didn't actually like just disappear because I didn't want to film. I just was generally focused on her and her recovery. Um, so with that said, I also want to mention, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that uh, notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. Now that it's all the way, let's get into my favorites. All right, so the first thing I actually want to mention is a clothing brand, um, and it is the brand Oakleaf Boutique. Oakleaf Boutique is ran by this amazing lady named Katie. She is a uh, Holzer Boutique on Facebook. It is a claiming group, and it's all I've been wearing. Like right now, my taco shirt, my jeans, my sandals I'm wearing today, everything is from, everything I wear basically is from her. This is not sponsoring thing. I just wanted to give her a shout out and her brand a shout out because I love her stuff so much. I'm going to be putting up a few pictures of some outfits and everything. Um, and I'm also going to be putting up a down in the description box a link to the Facebook group if you want to be a part of that. I love, 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 love all her clothes. So that is like my first favorite. I've really been back into fashion now because of her boutique. So that is my first thing that I want to talk about, and it's called Oakleaf Boutique. Now I have that little bit out of the way, let me just start talking about my favorite makeup items, um, and then we will keep moving on. So the first thing should, you know, go without saying, my two favorite face products. So ever since I started selling unique products, I have not touched, except for, I think, for a YouTube video. No, I actually been using my YouTube video. So this is the only primer I've been using. This is the Unique Touch Glorious Face Primer. I'm obsessed with this. It's good for all skin types. It is comfortable. I've, I've put it on people with oily skin because these are my clients as well. And, you know, once it dries down, they love it. It keeps their makeup on. Dry skin, you're going to love this. Normal skin, you're going to love this. I love this primer, you guys. It's so worth it. It's so... Just makes your skin feel soft. Keeps your makeup on. I freaking love this primer. I have, like... I have one more sitting around here. I have three of them. I have one I keep in my kit. I have one of a backup for me, and I have one I'm currently using. I love this primer so much. I'm obsessed with it. This is the only primer I've been using, you guys. That, you know, should go to say something. It's the only one I have been using. I have, I don't even know where my YSL primer is. Like, I don't know where it is. I, this, this, is one I, this is the one I've been using. I'm obsessed with it. Once again, it is the uh, Unique Touch Glorious Face Primer. Next is the foundation that I cannot put down. I can't put this one down, you guys. Oh, it's so good. This is the Unique Touch Stick Foundation. So I love our liquid foundation. Our liquid foundation is pretty good. Not my favorite, though. Um, I would choose some of my other foundations over this one. I do like this. Like, it is good. But this one beats all of them. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I love my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. Like, ride or die. I haven't touched it. I love this one. I'm using it today. Let me show you. So one reason I love it is because it is so full coverage, but my skin looks like skin. It 100% looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have foundation on right here. I freaking love it. And it is so incredibly long wearing. I get between 13 and 14 hours of wear out of this. I have tested it. It's really good. It lasts a long time. I've been still been on the same stick. And it just, I, I have so much product left. This is going to last me a long time. These are temporarily out of stock. They are going to be in stock in a couple weeks. 
I will keep you guys posted on that. I will let you guys know on here once it's back in stock. I'll give you guys a link. But um, I'm still going to provide the link um, on the off chance that maybe your shade is in stock. So check out the link for this foundation. Freaking love it. You will be obsessed. If you don't like it, I would be shocked. All right. So next thing is my favorite setting powder ever. Oh my god. This setting powder is so good. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Holy guacamole. I am almost gone. I need to get another one of these. It's so good. I used to share the share. I used to shade fair light and I use it for baking and everything like that. That is what I was baking at 98.7 degrees before. Um, I love this. I you know, usually Maybelline, I would imagine like their fit me being kind of like um matte, but it's actually like it's not it's like it's not super hydrating, but it's not drying either. So I love it for under my eyes. It's good for oily skin, it's good for dry skin, it's good for, for normal skin. I love this. I'm obsessed with this. Um I like it more than my hourglass one. I love this powder. So I want to talk about a few lip products, you guys. Um I have a handful I have a handful of lip products that I just kind of cycle through. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of my current favorites that I've been using a ton. Um, let me grab them. Let's see. I really have all the lip products that I've been using a ton just right in this drawer so I can go ahead and grab them. They do kind of have a theme to them unintentionally. I just kind of wear like the same similar shades over and over and over and that's just... That's just my journey. These two are, one is from Juvia's Place. I wear this one a lot. This one is in the shade Soil. I was actually just wearing this one yesterday. Oh my god. It's like a perfect orangey, ready brown. Oh, it's so pretty. I am obsessed with this and I love Juvia's Place formula. Really good, really inexpensive on top of that. This one is very similar shade. This is from Smashbox. Um, this is the shade Out Loud, I think. Yeah, Out Loud. I actually need to get another one of these. It's almost gone, but as you can see, they are very similar. The Smashbox one is just going to have just a smidge less orange in it. So there's that one. And another one in the same family is for Makeup Forever. You guys have seen me use this one as well. This is the shade 600. This is going to be in that same range. Just this one has more um, terracotta in it. So those are those three. I love these. They're perfect for fall. Um, I have another lipstick that I've been really into. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Um, another one I've really been loving is Kylie Cosmetics Kristen. I actually love Kylie Cosmetics formula. A lot of people say it's similar to ColourPop. And in my opinion, it is so different. ColourPop crumbles. It's dry. There is Kristen right there. I love Kristen. It's more of like a good spring kind of berry pinky it's really pretty i love the shade kristen um so it is so different you guys this is such a it smells good it's comfortable it lasts me all day long it doesn't dry my lips out i don't know why people said the kylie cosmetics liquid lipsticks were drying they are 100 percent not drying um and then one actual lipstick you guys look i'm telling you i have a theme here this is from fenty beauty and it is in the shade it's all rubbed off i don't know it's it, it's it's all rubbed off but there we go it's very similar to the smashbox one it's honestly the lipstick version of the smashbox liquid lipstick so those are those and then i also have these four other ones i wanted to save these until after i showed you those ones because again i don't want you to think i'm being biased because i just genuinely love these shades these are these splash liquid lipsticks from my website um the four that i wear the most this one is going to be in the shade successful so pretty a really pretty just mauvey color and then also sympathetic this is a really pretty nude for the springtime because it's more of a peach it's like the perfect peachy nude it's so freaking pretty that one is sympathetic this one is going to be sublime this is hands down out of every lipstick in my entire office hands down my go-to every single day obsessed with can't live without lipstick this one is in the shade sublime i am addicted to this shade i actually almost need to get a new one soon because i wear it so damn much i probably wear this shade five times a week so pretty this one is going to be sublime it is the perfect nude perfect nude and then the other one is the one I'm wearing today, and this is in the shade Stellar. This is more of like your beigey nude. 
really pretty i love this one a lot that one is stellar so we have stellar sublime sympathetic successful and then the other ones that i had listed up above so these are my go-to obsessed with lip shades if i got rid of every other lipstick in my entire collection missing one kylie cosmetics uh true brown so i could easily just have 10 lip products in my entire collection i'd be the happiest person ever those are the ones i'm obsessed with true brown is the other one from kylie cosmetics but i can't find it anywhere my kids run off of my stuff all the time but those are like my ride or dies and that's it for the lip products next of my favorites i'm going to talk about is eyeshadows so i have become a huge fan of the unique single shadows they are incredible they actually really remind me of the makeup forever ones um, I mean, of course, it's not the massive selection like Makeup Forever. I do have 25 of this. This is 25 of the um, the shades. I have it in just this cool little palette. Um, I use these a ton, you guys. And then I have a few more in, like, these that didn't fit in the palette. Um, I've got like, three of them in here. And then I have four of them in here. So I just love the single shadow so incredibly much you can build palettes you can do a palette of four a palette of eight or you could buy single shadows and um put them in a palette like that one you have a lot of options i love our single shadows so much all right so concealer is something i'm going to skip over simply because i don't have like a favorite concealer i really just use all the concealers around me and i still haven't found like like my concealer i thought i did one time but then all of a sudden, like, I don't know if I just got, like, used to it or bored of it, but it used to be the Makeup Forever one, but now I'm just, like, not as much into that one. I, it's, concealer is a tough one for me. The ones I am currently using, though, is the Too Faced Born This Way one, the ColourPop No Filter one, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and then the Unique Touch one. This one I use specifically for blemishes. I'm not a fan of this one under my eye. I just like using it for blemishes. So this one is sparingly because I don't get blemishes very often, but when I do get them, this is like my go-to. These ones I like using not for coverage, but for highlighting purposes. So I have my highlighting concealers, and then I have my coverage concealers. So uh, those are the ones I've been using. Am I obsessed? I mean, I guess since I keep going back to them, but I'm not just like, oh my God. I don't know I just to me it's it's concealer and it works I'm gonna keep using it and I already told you guys my favorite setting powder the Maybelline one obsessed can't get enough um bronzer I actually am uh torn between two so the Marc Jacobs one is like my favorite like matte bronzer Marc Jacobs the Tantastic number 104 so happy that this line is now permanent love this one um but then the one I've been using the most though is the beachfront bronzer from unique and this is in the shade sunset that is the one i'm currently wearing right now i love this bronzer it's so pretty the bronzer i've been using in my previous videos this is the one that i've been using so it's my favorite blush oh my lord you guys seriously i found like my i think my favorite blush of all time besides apricot in the middle from wet n wild i would say my favorite blush is this one totally random but from note cosmetics i don't have any blush on i think i actually want to apply this this is the note cosmetics luminous silk compact blusher in the shade desert rose i got this in a boxy charm and i was just no you know not thinking anything of it but i'm obsessed with it it's so pretty it's like just the perfect peach and it's matte I freaking love this blush so this is probably my favorite blush um if you're looking for one that's a little bit more easy accessible because I don't know where to get this from one that's very similar to it that I also use a ton and I love a lot is the Moodstruck the unique Moodstruck pressed blusher in the shade supple it's gonna honestly be the more luminous version of it it's the same shade you guys this one just has a luminosity to it so if you want a more matte blush do the note cosmetics one in the shade desert rose but if you want a one with a little bit of a luminosity to it do the one from my website in the shade supple speaking of luminosity um there is only two highlighters that i have been using that i like 
every other highlighter is just too much for me now and this is like honestly my ride or die look how much i've used of this this one is the touch all mode highlighter in the shade benevolent you guys i use this on my clients i use this on myself i use it as eyeshadow i used to highlight my brow bone i use this constantly on a daily basis again i don't have any highlighter on so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it i i cannot get enough of it, you guys it is so just pretty and good and not too much but it's also buildable um It's just, it's so, it's just such a pretty shade, you guys. When I'm really tan, I can wear it. When I'm really fair, I can wear it. It is honestly my favorite highlighter of all time. Everyone has, like, their perfect level of, like, brightness and of shine. And this is my perfect level. It's so pretty. It's, I love this highlighter so much. And then I've also really been liking, because I have been a little tanner, the uh, Touch All Mode highlighter in the shade Lustrous. I just love the Touch All Mode um, formula because it's buildable. This one is definitely more of like a blush topper if you're more fair. And then if you're tan, you can use it as like a highlighter. But I like to kind of layer these a little bit, putting this one a little bit closer to my blush. And then um, the benevolent one. I like to use it like at the high points of my cheekbone. But this one's really good as well i love these two shades this one is just going to be a little bit more and see it, it sucks because like these hot well, they, they swatch okay they don't swatch the best but they perform amazingly so those have been my highlighters next is lashes um i haven't worn false lashes you guys except for the james charles video uh, and just like youtube stuff because i feel like i, I kind of feel like i have to wear false lashes for youtube which kind of sucks but um I am obsessed with the uh, Moochstruck Epic Mascara, hands down. It's like my favorite everyday mascara. But we have actually recently launched this 4D one. We got rid of the 3D, the two-step one that Unique started on. We got rid of that one and we made this one. This is the one I'm wearing right now. I freaking love it. It's so good. It You don't get like the bunch of like fiber fallouts. The fibers are built into it. So it's like a one-step one. I love this one. I can do a dedicated video on it if you guys would like to see that. But then like honestly my ride or die mascara. Like this is my new current favorite one. But my ride or die mascara is the regular Epic Mascara. It is so good. I love the wand on it. I love the formula. It is the best mascara I had ever tried. And I had tried a lot of mascaras. If you guys remember a while back, I tried, struggled finding like my mascara. This is my mascara. The Moodstruck Epic Mascara. This is the black waterproof. We have three versions, black, waterproof, black, and then brown. And then we also now have the 40 mascara. So that is my go-to mascara. I think um, if there's any of the products that are like my ride or dies, like those are like the ones that I have to have. Like those are my, if I was just to have my products for my daily routine, those would be it. Um, the only other thing I think I would mention is another product I use every day. That is the Victorious Cream Shadow. This is the Moodstruck Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Victorious. I have it on my lid today. I use this as an eyeshadow base. I use it on its own if I don't want to really wear eyeshadow. I don't want to cover up those veins, but I don't want something that's going to be creasy like concealer. I will go ahead and use this one. It's so pretty. It really actually reminds me of MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot. So it's very similar to the paint pots. It's the same idea. Um, you can use this base, you can use it on its own, you can use it to uh, cut your crease, you can use it for a lot of things. So this is the only other thing I'd say is like something I use constantly. Um, other than that, I do switch around a lot of things. Like I still review products, so I am constantly switching things out. But just of like the things I'm obsessed with, that was the things I'm obsessed with. So I'm sorry this video seemed like I was a little bit all over the place. Again, I was really nervous to do this video because I didn't want you guys to think that I was just putting things out there oh because it's benefiting me because you know it probably doesn't I honestly have had zero success <laughs> through here with my business so um the I just genuinely love these products you guys you guys can watch all of my lives I go live every single day this is what I use this is what I love I use my Maybelline setting powder in every single live I use um I just I love all these products they're amazing I highly recommend all of them to me they are all a 10 out of 10 um so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry if it seemed a little odd i'm also coming back from not filming my daughter did go through surgery and she has been in recovery so that's really where my focus has been 
Um, so now that she's officially back in school today, I am now back to filming. So I'm sorry, it's just she was in surgery. She's only three years old and she just had a major surgery. So I really wanted to take some time for her. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried out any of these products. I will have everything listed in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, that's everything. I love you guys. We'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Goodbye.